If you are viewing this and you aren't associated with YouTube, please consider bringing it to their attention or to the attention of anyone whom you think might be able to help. Please be respectful and do not harass anyone you contact. Dear YouTube, on September 27, 2018, I received an email informing me that my channel, Shady Durags, had been terminated due to violating community guidelines, specifically those that prohibit spam, scams, or commercially deceptive content. The email did not, however, explain exactly what actions were done to cause this accusation. I examined my actions and those of my channel, yet could not recall anything that would make me guilty of this claim. The only action I found that could be somewhat suspicious of this behavior is a video I posted many months prior to the termination, which many felt originally had a misleading title. However, I have long since changed the title of that video, preventing any future viewers from being misled, so it is unlikely that this is what is being referred to. The last video I uploaded on the channel before its termination showcased me talking about the latest season of a cartoon, just as the title, thumbnail, and description all suggested it would. In no way could that video be reasonably interpreted as a scam or being misleading. I informed my followers about the termination. None of them reported that this was something I deserved. In fact, many of them were just as confused as I was. They were, overall, satisfied with my content. The increase in activity on my channel that I've been receiving for a year supports this claim. Given that I received no exact explanation as to why I was punished, that I myself could not recall anything that I've done, and that people who watch my content on a regular basis were feeling satisfied to my channel and confused by your decision, it must be concluded that this termination was done in error. On September 28, 2018, I sent an appeal to remove this termination from my channel. On September 29, 2018, I received an email informing me that my appeal had been denied. Once again, there was no information as to exactly what I did that caused the termination in the first place, only that the punishment would continue to be enforced. On the same day, I went to the YouTube subreddit, making a post that explained my situation and asking for help. On there, I came across the subreddit user Lightcode Gaming, who had been helping users in my position for over a year. I do not know if they are a YouTube employee, but their actions on the subreddit suggest that they are. In the conversation we had, they asked me a few questions about my channel and then informed me that my channel's review had been sent up, presumably in a review queue, and that the wait time would be three weeks. On October 22, 2018, my channel was still terminated. I contacted Lightcode Gaming asking if there was any update on the situation. They informed me that they could no longer help with terminated channels and that if I had problems, I should try to appeal the termination, an action which I had already explained had been tried and failed. When asked if there was anywhere else I could turn to in order to get this problem fixed, the user simply told me, quote unquote, I do not know of anyone you can contact. I informed the user about my concern for his change in approach to my situation, my dissatisfaction in his performance, and proceeded onwards. I later attempted to make another post about the problem in YouTube subreddit. The post was downvoted with no one responding to it. On October 28, 2018, I once again attempted to appeal my terminated channel. It was again denied the very next day. On the same day, I contacted the Twitter user known as Trusted Flagger. Much like Lightcode Gaming, this individual had a reputation for helping YouTubers get their channels back from false terminations. I do not know if this user works for YouTube, but his tweets suggested he did not. I sent both a private and public message to Trusted Flagger, explaining the situation to them. I have not heard from them since. Their account on Twitter disappeared shortly after I contacted them. During these months, I sent multiple messages to Team YouTube on Twitter, expecting them to get back to me with a reply. Of those messages, they only responded to one. On October 30, 2018, they responded to my request for help, telling me that the appeal email would detail more information to me about what I did wrong. Not only was this false, as the appeal email didn't give me said information, but it actually gave me less details than the original termination email did. I informed Team YouTube about this. Despite them telling me that I could come to them with further questions, there were no further responses from them. Finally, on November 11, 2018, 
I sent a physical letter to YouTube headquarters, once again explaining the situation and asking for assistance. At the time of recording this, I have yet to receive a response. YouTube, what is going on? Why am I, a user and contributor of your site, being treated like this? Being accused of breaking guidelines, being punished merely based on that accusation with no warning or chance to fix what is likely a mistake, getting no chance to defend myself, and worst of all, getting no one to say anything to me when I ask for more information. Why have I had to try so hard to get in contact with you, YouTube? At every turn, I am either given condescending advice that doesn't at all solve the problem, or I am ignored completely. Shady Durags is a channel I've spent the last three years of my life working on. That time was used contributing to your platform, bringing traffic to your site to make you money. It deserves better treatment than this. Despite my contributions to your site and the lack of any evidence to the claim that I've broken your community guidelines, you have denied me opportunities, money, and access that I have rightfully earned, and you have slandered my name to do so. This is unacceptable. The current channel that is originally hosting this video was created as a temporary place for my subscribers to view my work until this problem could be solved. Yes, I did this despite the message of the first email, because, YouTube, I have not committed the actions you've insinuated and do not accept the punishment you forced on me. I am not trying to hide from you. I want you to know I'm here. I want you to contact me. I want to resolve this matter as I've been trying to do for the past couple of months. If I am guilty of something, then it should be no problem on your part to demonstrate what that is. Please do the morally and legally correct thing and contact me about this or restore my original channel. Also consider completely revamping your justice system because its current iteration is oppressive and does not work. I await your decision and response. Until then, I will be here making content for your site as I have been for the past decade. Montreal McCall, Shady Durags.